Indie Gamer Red Show here, and welcome back to Far Loan Sales for the PC. Last episode, um, I made my way into that foundry. That was that little fenced-in area that was there. Did a lot of convoluted mess to basically just unlock that gate to make my way through across a snowfield into what looked like an abandoned construction site because there were scaffolding everywhere. That's what they used to like build things. Not really sure what they were trying to build, it was just piles of just junk everywhere, it seems like. Across more snow fields to another area that was like a train yard of some kind. There was even more snow fields across an ice field into this like giant monstrosity, which is basically just kind of like mine, except it's on legs and it's kind of spattery. And I think I was like around here somewhere, where I left off at, I think, because the save point kicked me all the way back, like right before like coming to this area. I think I was like around here somewhere where I left off at. I think I left off right after I pushed this. Maybe? giant fucking like machine with ease and not, you're having trouble with a box what the hell is wrong with you eh. 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 can that even reach Oh, yes, I can. Okay. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It seemed like earlier, like the last episode, I was trying to like, go across that train yard and I had to attach the pulley to a, a thing. I mean, the, the hoist to the, like a thing and then have it pull me, but it seems like I couldn't like pull it very far. Oh, it is. Re okay, so it's refueling. Hit button again. We should wait for it to finish.
Must have a system in place to automatically like refuel it. Taking something of this size would take a lot of fuel. You know? That, that guy up there looked familiar. I couldn't put my finger on it. Uh, I think that's your dad. Vibrating. What up? Uh, uh, uh. I'm confused. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Um. Y you might want to go faster. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. Okay, like a lot faster. Holy crap. Thank you. 
as other vehicles. Wait, is that where I was going to? Like, wherever they were headed at? or something? So I guess this is where everyone, like, came to, to... I guess try to get rescued? Because it looks like a, like a rescue beacon. Like a signal beacon. It's like, save the persons. I'm taking my mailbox with me. My mailbox. I can't jump back off across that. Yeah. Why are you still getting fuel? Oh, yeah, I need fuel. just waiting now see if I get rescued because I mean from what I've seen there's been no other person like here I mean you don't exactly find bodies either but I mean I'm guessing they wouldn't show bodies in here Poor car train. Oh, I think that wait, what? Wait, I think that was a boat. Yeah, I think that's something like a boat. I mean, I'll I'll play it back and I'll put like a caption in case I was wrong. But yeah, I think that was a boat. So I did get rescued. Goodbye, old friend. 
and uh, achieve an unlocked piece of home. Oh, because I brought my mailbox with me. Fuck yeah. It's my damn mailbox. So, holy crap, guys. This game was super freaking adorable. It sucks about my car train. Carl train. I'm going to call it Carl train now. But yeah, this was freaking awesome. I like everything about it. The... The, um... Like the, the overall like design of the game, like I said, it was a very simplistic and minimalistic style to it, and it worked. Especially like when areas where you try to make it look three-dimensional. Fortunate Hafliger, trumpet and flugelhorn, and um, like especially the thing with the um, the windmills, the windmills where you're able to take 2D space and make it like pseudo 3D. I think it's called like like 2.5D. And then the, the color palettes for everything, they used as few colors as possible, but it it really worked with what they were trying to achieve, like art-wise. Tested by Peoples. Is this Kickstarter? Probably. Maybe? Florin Forster. Oh God. Lander. Schnabberger. Onto the peoples. Okay. It didn't take me too long to do. What about two and a half hours or so? each episode was like half an hour ish I mean give or take like a minute or two which I think the first one was like 34 35 minutes but you know two and a half hours that actually wasn't too long so yeah this game was super fucking adorable um, I do believe they have a sequel that's coming out I don't know if it's out already called um, crap changing tides I don't know if you're the same person, but it's like a new story. But like I said, I don't know if you're the same person that's like from this one or if it's a whole nother person. I don't know. I didn't actually look into it yet. All I know is that they have a sequel that's coming out or it's about to come out or it might have just come out. I'm not sure. Juice Van Dongen, that's nice for you. I'm going to go ahead and say um, this was not made in the U.S. I mean, you know, I'm like 95% sure. But yeah, this game was just so damn dope. I'm going to sure as hell go find them on Twitter and let them know. And then probably take care of the other one when it comes out. Not right away, but just like other games, but... Oh, God. Alrighty, so um, there we have it, guys. Four loan sales for the PC. Please remember to check them out on Steam. I actually have been putting links to all games that I play on Steam in the description. So go ahead and check them out whenever you can. It actually wasn't very much. I believe I got it on sale for like two bucks, three bucks, something like that. It wasn't very cheap. So I don't know if it's on sale again or you find it when it's on sale or not. You can pay full price if you want to. That's up to you. But yeah, this game was freaking awesome. So. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe if you like what you saw. You can if you want to. If not, that's fine too. I have one more game that I'm going to take care of before I start doing requests again. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on that one as soon as I can. Let's restart the console. Mr. Wales game. Okay, it's just the... I guess the... The um, sponsors or what have you. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that game. And then I'll sort of request again. So you just thank you for playing Far Loan Sales. Yay. Okay, so just keep it back to the title. So, um, and you can still drop comments, let me know what game it is you want me to check out, and I'll just make a note of it. And then when I finish this next game, I'm going to go ahead and start doing requests again. 
in the meantime, please remember to hit that bell icon to receive notifications on when I drop a new video and to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on with my channel and whatnot. And as always, this is Indie Gamer Retro, and I'll see you guys next time.